is Kane Mojo here. I'm summoning for my mom, and this is Kane's clean kitchen, not Crystal's clean kitchen. I should probably change the name though. Don't tell my mom. Um, today we're going to be making roasted pumpkin seeds. They're going to taste delicious. Everybody in your family will love them. You can make them with a bunch of different kinds of seeds. It's amazing. You can make with squash seeds, watermelon seeds, maybe not watermelon seeds, but any kind of seeds. And also make sure to hit that like button with a hammer. With a hammer, not with your finger, with a hammer. Make sure you got that. Okay, so this is what we're going to need. We're going to need one cup of pumpkin seeds, thus the name of the recipe. We can, we're going to be using two tablespoons of olive oil. Now you can use avocado oil too. And we're going to be using garlic, one teaspoon of garlic powder, powder and we're going to be one teaspoon of pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of chili powder. Half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of chili powder. Thanks, Mom. And we're going to be preheating it to 350 degrees, and it's going. we're going to cook it for 20 minutes. Hey, bud, what you doing? I am washing seeds and all the other gunk out so that I can roast them in the oven. Okay. It's going to be Tell delicious. Me the well, I'm taking it out, putting all the bad stuff in there, okay. and then I'm going to be washing this to make sure I've got all the gunk off, okay. and then I'm going to be seasoning it, or my mom's going to be seasoning it, and I'm going to put it in the oven, or somebody's going to put it in the oven. Oh, we dry them off too, right? Yeah. Yeah. We don't want it to evaporate in the oven. That just look weird. Uh, so, do you like pumpkin seeds? Oh, yes. They are the best. If you have not tried them, you better try them. Because they are who's, uh, amazing. Whose favorite is pumpkin seeds in our family? Hmm. Uh, I think it's dad. <laughs> Probably. Ah, nope. Wrong, wrong, wrong way. Wrong bowl. Wrong bowl. Well, you're doing a great job. I'm going to be washing these off because there are some seeds in them. What did we make for breakfast behind you? Can you see? Though that is amazing breakfast pizza. Make sure to watch the video so you can make even better breakfast pizza. Yeah, it's pretty. It's our one of our favorite breakfasts. Yep, not, and it only took, how long did it take? 40 minutes? Yeah, not too long. Didn't take that long. Well, you're doing a great job. Keep up with the good work, bud. Keep up with the good work, Halle. Hi, okay, so like now we are going to be washing all the seeds that we've just done. Make sure to get all the seeds out of the bowl you're using. We're going to be washing and drying them. It's going to be great. So what you want to do is you just want to pour water in it. You want to make sure that you can do this. It's like doing dough. If you've ever made bread before, you're squishing it all over. Only you don't get as dirty. Cause the, and make sure you get all the icky stuff off of it. As you see, there's not really much on it. So once you feel like it's mostly washed, you can turn off the water. You can take it off. Make sure you let the water drip. I'll just put this right here, the water trip. Put it back. Okay, so now we are going to take our seeds that have freshly been separated. we are going to, not all of it, because it's hard to do it, so let's do it in loads. You spread them out on the paper towel. Don't get all of it. I'd say about this would be enough for one load. So maybe half. Yeah, so maybe about half, depending on how many pumpkins you use. Uh, you lay a paper towel on it, and make sure that you put a paper towel under it, if I didn't already mention that. And you're going to be trying to dry it, smash it, do whatever you need to, to get these guys dry. And do you know why you need them to dry? Guess if you do not know, but you, if you don't dry them, they're not going to be very crispy. And you really want these pumpkin seeds to be crispy, because that's how they're good. And once you're done doing drying them, you're going to put them in a bowl like this. It doesn't have to be this exact bowl, but it has to be a bowl. Okay, so we are going to be using two tablespoons of olive oil, because that's what we're going to be using. And we are going to be using one teaspoon of garlic powder. Make sure you get it. It's okay if you get a little too much, a little too little. Now pour that out, try to even it out. And we're going to be using one teaspoon of... Half a teaspoon of chili powder. Half a teaspoon. 
Just stick it in here. And then we're going to be using half a teaspoon of, one teaspoon of, what is that, black pepper. And then we're going to be using one teaspoon of paprika. Okay, straight around. Yay, that's what, that's what I want to do. This is going to be some seeds. Oh, oh nice. look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, careful. And a, how much is that? One teaspoon. One teaspoon of salt. The magic ingredient, salt, salt. Once it's all mixed together, you can put it on a pan to cook. Yeah, let me just make sure you've got it all. I did pretty good. You did awesome. Okay, I did so amazing. Then. Don't we need a cookie sheet? That is a cookie sheet. No, I mean like something to make sure it doesn't stick. Oh, pressure paper? No. Oh. It has get, olive oil on it, so it's fine. I guess that's just for cookies. Make sure to spread it out. You do not want it to be on top of each other. It's okay if it's like a little bit. But uh, if it's evened out, it'll get more crispy and a better fry. And if you don't like the chili powder on there, if that's too spicy for you, then that's totally fine too. Mm-hmm. It's gonna taste good. And we are going to be putting it in the oven for 20 minutes at 350 degrees. So, uh, we're going to be doing another flavor. Now remember, you don't have to do this. So you're going to be doing two tablespoons of olive oil. You're going to be doing one half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And you're going to be doing one teaspoon of salt. And then you stir that around and you're going to be putting that in the oven for 350 degrees to preheat and then 20 minutes for cooking time. Okay, so you're going to be same as last time, pour it on. Make sure you spread it out. Now this is still gonna be one cup of seeds. There's gonna be no difference in the thingy boppers. So we're spreading out the seeds and then when you're cooking them, make sure that you're checking them at around minute 18 and just making sure that they're not going to burn. You don't want them to burn, they won't taste as good. This is what it turned out to be. It's, it's amazing, look at this, oh, it looks so good. I can't believe how this turned out, it looks so good. And look at this one, the, the, which one do you think tastes better? Comment below and tell me what you, it looks better. Now, let's get to the taste testing. We're gonna try both kinds and I'm gonna tell you which one I think is the best. Let's start with this one. Mm. Spicy, lots of flavor. Mm, that one's good. It like explodes in the mouth. Mmm, that's that also explodes in your mouth. It's it tastes salty, tastes like garlic. Thus, what's inside? Mm, okay, which one do I think that's better? Hmm, I think I'm going with this one. I'm just a spice person. I want to eat the whole bowl, but you know. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment below so that I can do more videos, not my mom, me, and so that you can like, subscribe. And so thank you for watching. Bye.